Hello and welcome to Juanito Arcade Mayhem. The developers sent me this game saying give it a try and here I am giving it a try with my friend Emil. I'm watching him give it a try. That yeah. is true. You are. So let's see what we're in for. Um, oh man, I can go easy peasy, <laughs> which is the best image I've seen. Or oh, okay, yeah. let's go arcade. <laughs> You'll be immune for a few seconds after getting hurt. Sweet. That the <laughs> go one either, you got this. This is amazing. <laughs> this, this is dumb and amazing. No. So, so, from what I understand, you basically get warped into arcade games, classic arcade games, and it's arcade That's games with cool. a twist. That is the idea. I believe. I'm just gonna turn it down very slightly. Um, Even that idea in itself is so retro. It is actually, yeah. I, I like this already. It's lovely art style. Yeah, I like it. Nice. Well, I'm I'm intrigued about the gameplay. Tutorial gameplay. Oh man, this actually looks lovely. Oh, yeah. Wow, it worked. And you still have both legs, yes. Well, this is the inside of the arcade. Those electronic chips ruin, ruin, run, run, get rid, yeah, blue, blue. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a voice actor. I'm doing a great job. <laughs> Beware, some cl cloner cells are coming. Shoot them. Excellent, can do. All right. Yeah. Ready? Fire down. Go. Oop. I did it. Oh no. You did it. You beat the game. Oh, this is like that one game that I used to play on mini clip. Uh, which I believe was also an NES game before that, but still, I've played it for free on Mini Clip, and I'm clearly bad at it. Uh, yeah, it was it was called I Bubble Trouble. This. It was called, basically simple. It looks exactly like this. They they split up, and you gotta shoot them all. And if and if you don't, you die. In Bubble Sounds... Trouble, it worked a little bit different. It was uh, like a vine that went all across the top of the screen, so it wasn't just a simple. Uh, laser, it gave you a lot more leeway in terms of how much you could hit the, um, the, the blobby masses. Who is sweet power up? Mayhem. Um. Oh yes, that's more like it. Don't get squished. Uh, I am trying not to. Noise. We're ready to enter the first video game. Cool. I I want a mayhem machine gun. Sweet. Was that, the, <laughs> was that not the first video game? Um, I don't know. So, I guess... Block kits. I... Okay, so... Uh, Archidroid. Don't know what that one is. Wonderland... Pillman... Pillman! <laughs> Snow si... Snow Sizes? What's that one? I don't know. Kung Fu Blaster. Boing. <laughs> Boing is the best oh, one. Oh, Pong, yeah. Mon Monkey Gong. <laughs> and Cthulhu. <Ooh>. Right. <laughs> right, let's, uh, we've unlocked this. Let's go. Right, b b block kits. It, it, let's Tetris. go. It is Tetris. Juanito's dad was addicted to video games. The art style kind of reminds me of Ren and Stimpy. It was, it was definitely reminding me of a cartoon, but I didn't know which one. A little bit, a little bit of that, a little bit of uh, a Gravity Falls kind of animation, I guess. Oh my God, what? Oh what? Oh God, no! Don't get squished. Oh no! This is genius and terrifying at the same time. This is a tiny bit annoying because it's similar to an idea I've had before. Oh, re oh really? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah! Oh, snap. Oh, Jesus Christ, help me! No! Uh, why? No! This is mildly terrifying. You can, can you, like, push them around? <laughs> I like the little Russian guy. Um, oh, yeah, maybe. A dog, oh, Christ. This is oddly confusing, but I love it. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, you can actually, like, push them around. A little bit, yeah. I don't have complete freedom. This is- Oh, Christ! Just- just shoot all the things, really, when that happens. 
Oh, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> then again, it is a, a, a twist on the classics. This is brilliant, though. I don't know how long it's been out for, but like, <laughs> the, what the, 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 what vic the victory dance is the best one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. I love this. I think I, I can see this. Oh, Christ. I can see this as a game you would love. Yeah, it does look really fun. Do you know what else is a game you would love? Yes. I, I, I do. I <laughs> should, should play it sometime. What, what game? Hollow Knight. Oh yeah. You would love it so well, much. I'll tell you what, um, I, I'm not streaming games oh, until I, I get an Ethernet cable to go into my room, but then I will. Ah, fair enough. I'll stream it after I, I finish. I, uh, I, I may be bad. Game. But yeah, no, you, I, I just, I think you would absolutely love it. It's so cool and really creepy. I'm also fairly sure I would love it, which is why I'm annoyed that I haven't played it yet. Oh god! Oh, I can't break those yet when I'm in this mode. Interesting. Oh god! <laughs> this is actually brilliant. Oh right, I can slide. That's right. I genuinely forgot that. I don't know how, because you know it's you're a cool mechanic. You're gonna die soon if you're not careful. I know I am. I, I love the little Russian guy. Thanks for the help, man. Oh, it's not help, it's mayhem. Eh, it's just as good. Thanks for the mayhem. What is the food? Is that points? Uh, just points. Because you need uh, points to unlock other levels later on. So I guess that's a throw. Uh, a throwback to Pac-Man. Um. Wait, what is? Food being points. Oh, I yeah, guess, like, yeah. Usually food is health. Yeah, I guess that's true. But in Pac-Man, you got to eat them tasty cherries. Yeah, that is actually a good point. I've, I've usually... I've, I've never really associated food as health, but I guess that's true. After. What about wall chicken? The famous wall chicken. Yeah, I mean, that was the first thing that came to mind when you <laughs> said that. But, oh, that was probably the last blob. No! <laughs> Oh well, I'm I'm all for this game, but that's fine because it's real fun. Yay! I'm really trying to think what the art style reminds me of. It, it does look. I I see a bit of Gravity Falls, Steven Universe kind of thing. But I, don't I see, see it, that. but it's not what it's specifically reminding me of. Right. I think it's before then. Why don't you just be a random flash video or something? Yeah. It's possible. Like, it could be a YouTube video or a flash video or something. There are some incredible creators out there and artists. There are so many people Truth. who just don't get appreciated for what they do. Actually, speaking yeah, of, because, no. because, um, because, uh, the game you uh, worked on was, uh, like a video was done by Markiplier. What did that actually do for you guys? Um, well, it got us quite a lot of um, game downloads. I don't exactly know how many because it's not. I didn't put up the page, but right. apparently we got quite uh, quite a bit after that. Because the games pay what you want. I wouldn't really have expected. I don't think anyone paid for it. But like, to be mm. honest, I I wouldn't pay for that game. <laughs> You don't have to, it's pay what you want, yeah. it's just kind of if you want to support the creators, but... Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah like... As a result, really, we're um, working on a new prototype to see if we can make a full game out of... Yeah, because I was going to say, like, it. from it, did you gain any followers on Twitter and stuff as well? Uh, I think I might have. Like, it's hard to say where Twitter followers come from. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Um... But I get quite a few people liking the, uh... Oh my god, can you hear that? That's really annoying. I think someone's lawn mowing. Uh, I can't actually, but... Okay, cool. <laughs> um... Yeah, like, uh, the, the the tweet where I announced that I worked on, um, Dinner Party, that's got quite a few... It Like, it gets quite a few likes. Right. Uh, so I assume maybe they came from that. I mean, our Twitter handles are attached to the game, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was the thing. That's why I thought maybe you might have gained quite a bit on Twitter because because of that. Um, but no, I'm I'm glad that it's it. Like as soon as I saw that, I was like, 
Oh my god, that's such an amazing opportunity for you! <laughs> like, I was, yeah, I was I mean, so happy. It's it's so odd, really, because how the... Oh, what? Like, <laughs> what the heck is that? It's the same thing, but it shoots now. <laughs> it's horrifying. <laughs> it kind of is. You'll it's love Hollow dust. Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow Knight does that a lot. <laughs> There's pus everywhere at one point. It's pretty good. Oh, what did I just... Oh! That's cool. <laughs> that's awesome! <laughs> that's so cool! That's how you unlock survival mode. That's sweet. I love that. Sorry, go on. <laughs> that dance. I will. I will never get tired of that dance. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. What was I saying? Um. You're working on it. So it handles. I was so happy about you. It being done by my flag. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. So um. How how it like came to be. Yeah. I mean. I don't know if, if anyone watching has played the game. Um, it's really small, uh, it's like a really small game, and it's really weird. Basically we went, do you know um, the uh, game developer Nina Freeman? She worked on Tacoma. Um, I think I know the name of Tacoma. She, she did a game called Sybil? No, I don't think so, I'm not sure. Okay, well, um, I might know it if I saw it. Uh, she did a, a talk. Um, well, Tacoma's just come out. It's like a, it's from the creators of Gone Home. Oh, okay, right. Um, but she she did a talk in Manchester that me and my friend went to, and like the advice that she gave for people trying to break into the industry is, uh, don't be afraid to just like take out a weekend and just make a game. Mm. And it doesn't really matter how weird it is or how small or unfinished it is. Just just You're done it. with it, just release it out there. Yeah, um, and also it's a good experience. Basically, her, she said that her start in the game industry came from this game she made about basically making, like, jamming Barbie dolls together to learn how people have sex, basically. Okay, what, well, like him? <laughs> to exactly. What, his motion, is that how you do it? Um, and that's kind of where she started, and... Right. So she said, just just make something small and weird and just release it. And like, the advice was completely right. Because <laughs> right. I have no idea how Markiplier even found that game. Yeah, like, that's true. I, I guess it was just like a recently added thing on that website. I feel like he must have... Like, I don't know because I didn't upload the game. I don't know if it's tagged with like creepy or weird or something, but I have no idea. Based on like what kind of content he produces, he probably searches for creepy and weird games. I don't know about that. To, I think he like... I think he releases pretty much anything generally. Like well, well yeah, but like well, that kind of YouTuber, that kind of let's player like, the game that we made is really well suited to what he does. Yeah, I guess. Um, and there is probably a type of game that is suited for someone like Markiplier or PewDiePie or something. That is like a small, weird game that they can just kind of do their thing. Yeah, I so, guess. So, I guess that's how we found it, but it was, it was just kind of odd how, you know, you just don't... You just release a game and then people play it. It's, mm. it's a weird loop, especially when you don't really market it. Yeah. Well, I mean that's that's the internet and what what can happen. I mean, it's it's crazy how like just one video can sort of kickstart things. Mm. One like one thing you do can kickstart things a little bit. Like the same sort of happened to me with. Uh, a mixture of Crash and Undertale. What the hell is this one? Um, oh god! <laughs> well, you get a lot of new people from Undertale. Um, yeah, I uploaded a video basically which was a new room in the. What the hell is this? Oh, survival card mode! Survi sweet. Oh, sweet. Um, I assume it's local. Uh, probably. Um, I will check though. Um, I will check. That's uh, my job. I'm the number two. But yes, <laughs> the. Um, I. I Basically, there was a new room added to the PS4 version, uh, and I streamed it the day it was released. So, or the, actually, the day it was released, but I bought it from Australia, so it was technically the day before release. Sneaky. Mm. Um, and I was able to get it out day one. 
Um, like, like I think it was like one minute after midnight UK time, so <laughs> it was like on the cusp of the official release for the UK, but I had it technically the official release was, but anyway, um, because I've released that, um, it blew up. I don't know how, I think it was literally the first thing you got when you searched Undertale. Um, mm, that's cool. And it, had, it has 300,000 views and I gained around 2,000 subscribers in the space of four days. So, that was cool. I liked that. It's a pity that the apocalypse thing is utterly crippling me. Because... Yeah. That kind of viewership before would have get, got me around $600. I guarantee you now it's around 100 to 150 That's bad. That's, like, that's how bad it is. <laughs> it's like, so soul-crushing. Because I've been doing really well recently, and like Crash was really good. Like I had a video, a video or two get a couple hundred thousand views there. I was just like, oh, so good. Why must this happen? Why now? Fix yourself. I'm just hoping I can keep up the momentum. Because like I've had a couple of videos each month which have done that. I uploaded some Persona trailers uh, for the new Persona dancing games, and they got a couple hundred thousand views each as well. So it's just like I'm doing well. Please, YouTube, <laughs> fix things. We might actually have enough points to unlock the uh, the next le next set of levels. Can I can't we? actually find out if it's online or not. Oh, really? This is the annoying thing about Steam. It's so unclear which one is online multiplayer. It's got co-op and local co-op, but I'm not entirely sure that the co-op one is online for a it's just two tags for the same thing, basically. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not Which sure. Which is it's really annoying. Um, <laughs> what is funny is that I usually use the Steam reviews. If there's a negative one, it's probably someone saying, "Oh, it should have online," but this game doesn't have any negative ones that I can find. So. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. I think. If this is what I think it is. This is gonna be rad. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I've just realized what it reminds me of. Go on, what um, is it? What's it called? Um... Yeah, Fossil's Home for Imaginary Friends. Oh, okay. Sort of. I don't know if it is now. I, I admit I have not uh, seen that show. But I know oh, really? of it. I do know it's of, it, of its existence, so... Yes. I've been told to see it. I just have not. Because I'm very helpful. Food. This is cool. It's a very different spin on this. Which, ah... It's kind of interesting. I don't know specifically what I have to do to win, I guess, combos. Is it still breaking all the bricks? No, I don't think so. If anything, I've made life harder for me. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I can't find anything that says anything about online, so I guess it's not online, but... Yeah, I guess not. I wouldn't really expect it to be. It is cool, though. I like it a lot. It's a good game. Mm. Well, I'm a big fan of of local multiplayer, so I wouldn't mind if it wasn't online. Mm. This uh, this is Breakout. This is what it's called. I know it was Breakout. At least this original game. I don't know if it has another name, but this is. Hey, that's not copyright. <laughs> yeah, I always wonder if these. It mustn't be copyright. Like, probably because these games are so old. They, I don't know. I, I don't, don't know, know how it works. Like, well, uh, in like TV. Tetris. And you find Tetris stuff in all sorts of games. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, because it's interesting. In TV, like, it's fair use, I believe, after 70 years. Yeah, um, unless, well, someone unless someone renews it. Yeah, unless someone renews it. I think music is 50 years. I might be wrong about that. Um... But like, so stuff like early, uh, early, some early Looney Tunes, some early Disney cartoons, they are actually free domain uh, now. I think Steamboat Willie, the first Mickey Mouse cartoon, is actually free domain. Mm. Um, 
It just hasn't been renewed, I guess. Um, or they just were like, yeah, people can have it, why not? Um, but yeah, it's... I, yeah, I don't really know how it works exactly. But Do you yeah. know what? I think that might not be true because um, they started using it as their their little opening thing, didn't they? Yes, they did, but it's just So they a might snippet. have done that to renew it. I don't know. Because I don't think it's actually the original clip. I think it's a redone oh, version. Really? I might be wrong about that. I don't know how it works. Someone who's a genius of this kind of thing, tell us. Because we don't know. Someone probably studies it in some variety. I would like to know from these people. Yeah, get a life. Get a life. I'm not so sure that it was uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends that this is reminding me of. I think it just kind of reminds me of an era of cartoons that was at that time. Yeah. Sort of pre-Adventure Time and Gravity Falls and that kind of era. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. I have destroyed many things. I'm really digging this. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, it looks fun. I mean, I like games like this that do... There's a lot to do as well. Throwbacks, but with a twist. Yeah. I'm... The only thing I'm slightly disappointed by is that each game isn't radically different, if that makes sense. Like, I you was mean from each other or from the original? Uh, from each other. Um, like, I was, you're always I was... Yeah, I was expecting this to be something entirely different, not shooting these. But it, mm. it's... And that's not a bad thing, because it, it works well. Uh, it's just yeah, a gimmick Yeah, I for guess it. what you've as got to see as all as of them is are... this, this is a game about shooting. Yeah, that's true. But it's set in different arcade games, rather yeah. than this is a game about arcade games, yeah. but you shoot. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder if we have unlocked another. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Uh, no, we have not. We have not unlocked Wonderland, which I'm unsure what that is a reference to. I don't know if it's specifically... Well, I maybe it is. it is. I don't know. The, the it says... Um... Where did I read that? Um... Each world has a unique... Oh yeah, no it is. Never mind. I just didn't read it properly. Kung Fu Blaster, I'm not sure what that's around. I don't, I don't know what... Like Double are. Dragon. I did... Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it could be. Well, I think we might end it off here, because we've done quite a bit already. Um, but no, this is a good game. I enjoyed it. Uh, if this is your kind of thing, uh, link is always in the description down below, where you can buy it. Which is on Steam. And uh, check it out. It's pretty cool. Bye. See ya.